guys, classic Safira, and it's come in with a port of overheating and type 1 diabetes because it's eating too much boosts. Uh, so, anyway, you can see somebody's had a little modification on this plug here for whatever reason. Um, on that thermostat housing, which looks like the thermostat might be new, plus that's been definitely removed, and I can see that's definitely been removed. It does seem like the water pump's new, but there's a bit of play in it. I don't see any leaks under there. Um, you can see the coolant's nice and fresh, and it's had a coolant bottle. But the customer had said they had unplugged this here uh, to keep the fan running. <laughs> so. But it looks like to me they're on the right track, but probably not the right diagnosis. So, we're going to plug that in and see how she starts with that plugged in. Because if it doesn't start very well, then it's a good sign that that's knackered. And you can also see that's going to want replaced. So, I need to check. I think you can get this for your you know, aftermarket places. Um, so, your parts factors. Um, but I don't think you can get that pipe where that thing's round. Um, I think that's got a comfy box hole. It's the same as the mockers. It joins up under there somewhere. Um, it's the same as the mockers. Uh, this is obviously older. Um, but the mocker had one, had one a few weeks back and that pipe was knackered as well. And that was how it came. So we plugged that in. I've got a key in my pocket. I see. <sighs> Here it starts. Oh, classics, much move. Time after time, Monday. Average speed, 16 miles. Well, it started no bad actually. Yeah. Right, so we're going to get a big hotel on her, see what she's saying. I'd imagine there's going to be an open circuit for that because it was unplugged. Right, so we're just saving. Uh, that PDF report and we'll copy, give a copy to the customer, email it to myself at the moment. No, that's the wrong button. Email. There we are. So, if we go back, back, back. So you can see, current start, uh, current firmware start valve. Open circuit, so that's the one that's had the plug. Uh, it's got two spade terminals on it, really, so it's the one the plug's missing for. Uh, camshaft timing over advanced or system performance bank one, something right there. And interestingly enough, it looks like there's some writing on the timing cover. Engine coolant temperature circuit, low input, was unplugged. Uh, engine coolant temperature signal range performance for the instrument panel cluster. So that's not been on either, so he's not been able to communicate because that's been unplugged. Can bus. So we'll come out here in a minute and check that emails come through, and then we'll come back. Bear with us. Right, so welcome back. Right, I've got a copy of this, so we shall clear and see what goes out. Uh, see what happens. Right, so it's cleared those faults anyway. We went to engine management. We'll go to trouble codes again, see what comes back. Mm -hmm. Nothing so far. Read. Right, nothing in there at the moment. Uh, live data. See if diagnostic list number one has what we're looking for. No. Number two. Count temperature. Count temperature. It's showing seventy degrees in there. We'll come out here a minute. Diagnostic list number three. 
keep some here. Yeah, go in. Go to sensors. Aye, right, this is fuel trim. Oh, that's my bad. I did that. So it is down as it's running a bit rich. Minus six on the fuel trim, interesting. Got additional data, let's see what's in there. Just cam. Something's not right with the timing on this, I don't think. Definitely, it's nothing not right there. If your timing's not right, you can certainly cause you some issues with the engine. Um, right, cooling fan test is what we're going to be interested in. And hopefully, um, there is a a low speed function there. Um, for test checking the low speed. So what we'll do is we'll put that off. Just have that on. That way we can hear it. Uh, is everything all plugged in? I'll turn the flash on. Mm, looks to be anyway. I will need to get this on to a vamp later. Uh, oh, something missing for you. That's still cold at the minute, still. So that's stone cold at the moment. So the rest of it's stone cold. Cold. Right, so. What else is this? This isn't like too clever either, is it? I think this has had an engine swap or an engine change because it didn't like the. You no know, tail didn't like the. Nah, there's a lot of bastardised stuff on this, isn't there? I certainly had its engine it at some point. Um, so I, I don't know what this is. So eight seven two six six four. I wonder if that's a scrapyard number because the mileage was eighty two thousand and that would read eight hundred and seventy two thousand. So I mean, there's no city about the world doing that. See if it was a two water. Hell yeah, but it's not. So right, so engine off, ignition on. Fan control one. In case. Oh. So that should be the low speed. So that's saying it's working both. Oh, doesn't sound like it's any faster to me. So fan control one. In case. Right. So I think what we'd have to do is start fresh on this. Undo whatever they've done. Uh, I think that's what we'd need to do. I think we would have to. I know that's a new thermostat that's on there, but well, it certainly looks it anyway. It certainly looks quite clean and new. I did check this other day uh, when it come in and. It was all seemed to be warm, so right, obviously we've got this homemade kind of plug here. Now that's not going to last very long. Water's just going to drip onto that, isn't it? Because it's not got the plug to keep the water out anymore. So water will just fill up in there until that's knackered. So we'd probably be better trying to get that fixed properly. And obviously there's this little pipe which 
isn't he leaking, but isn't he right there? That's certainly what I would recommend is changing these, but I mean, you don't know the cars that are coming second hand, you really don't know. For all we know, this is all bypassed, man, there's absolutely nothing in here or something. <laughs> I don't think that's the case. I think somebody's just been trying to get it sorted and, and has run a dry of ideas. Plus, it's got a water pump on it. It's got a new thermostat housing. But yet, this housing here's never been changed either. So, um, I'd maybe start there. It's maybe that that. Oh, actually, we're going to the live data and see what it does. Right, we were going to compare. Uh, we we're going to try and compare the radiator temp to the engine temp, but I cannot seem to find any, can find current temp, so we can see the voltage going to the sensor, 1.3 volts, uh, and it's showing that it's 70 degrees, but it just says current temperature, so there's nothing for radio, uh, I'm not actually sure, the power is snap on so much, see, see the heat in there, Scotland's renowned for its heat, so, it's got a bit hot and it's expanded. <laughs> Push some at the hole. I'd imagine somewhere. I can see wires down there, so there's a temp sensor on the radiator. And there's one there, so. But for whatever reason, I can't see on the data. There, there's another thing, look. Killing fan is not even connected to the radiator. There's a bolt missing at it. That, Jesus Christ. So, that's how that's been put back. Jesus. It's been left. Somebody shut it off, but... Right, if you don't... Speak to the customer about this, we can place the bits, we can see... I can see the wire and limbs been out of it. I'm pretty confident that it's had an ECU change as well, judging by the, the data. Autel doesn't like it, it says it's the wrong code. So, I'd imagine, knowing Vauxhalls, that this has probably had uh, an ECU replacement. So we'll speak to the customer and see exactly how much money he wants to spend on this vehicle, because it is, is getting a bit on, uh, this one. So, uh, for me it might be a money part, especially when you don't know the history on it, and it's clearly had the engine out of it. So, right, okie doke, speak to the guys, see what he wants to do, hit the big thumb guys, hit that subscribe button, it's totally free, and have yourselves a great old day, okay?